Hey everyone, so uh, in this video, what I'm going to be doing is a comparison of some of the best queuing timer software that is out there. And uh, just, just a question I get a lot on my channel is which timer software I like the best and which one I use. Um, so I'm just going to go through some of the most popular ones and list some pros and cons and which ones are good and which ones aren't. So I have six ones that I'm going to show you. Starting off, I'm just going to do the most basic one that I guess most people know about. It's cubetimer.com. And beginners tend to end up using this. I think it's just because that if you search Google for cube timer, this is what you get. So it's really basic. It just has basic scrambles up to like 5 by 5 uh, It does some averages down here. You can do inspection time. Just use spacebar to start it, obviously. And then list the times over here. So yeah, that's cube timer. Not particularly advanced. Not a lot of options. Beginners tend to use it. <coughs> um, honestly, I wouldn't be caught solving this in a comp using this in a competition because people will probably laugh at you. <laughs> uh, yeah. Next one is Cube Mania. This is a website you actually have to get an account for. That's why it says X Town Cubers Profile. Um, and what you can do is you keep track of your times over. It's designed to kind of keep track of your times over a long period of time. So um, keeps a graph down here of your times, which is a really nice uh, feature that it has. I like that a lot. As you can see, I haven't used this timer uh, very much at all. I just have like two fake solves that will not go away over here. I don't know why. I keep deleting them and they just stay there. <clears throat> so timer works exactly how you would expect. Here's the inspection. You can enter in the times manually. Um, you can just type it in. Use the stack mat. Has lots of scrambles. Uh, two by two, two, seven by seven. All the WCA puzzles plus magic, master magic. PLL time attack. And then it also has categories for blindfolded, feet, and one-handed. But the main feature of this timer is that um, as you do your solves, you can actually compare your times to other people. So this is the ranking for 3x3 three three average of 5. So the first one is obviously fake. Nobody has a 2.4 average of 5. But uh, the second one's probably real. Uh, PT Pichedpan or something like that. Uh, he's a real solver. He has quite fast time in his competition. Um, this guy is Martian, so he must be Polish, and there's some fast Polish people. Um, <laughs> uh, so yeah, really nice timer, quite a few options as well. Definitely worth considering uh, as a main timer. Or at least looking into, playing around with. Uh, so that's Q-Mania. This is twistthewed.com. This one is one that's really fun, although not very good for a main timer. So let's just look at how this works. The idea is you're going to create actually a room or a game and that many people can come into this game with you in cube at the same time. So we're going to make a 3x3 room. We're going to make it pri private because I don't really want anyone in with me right now, so I'll just make a password. Which is, I know it's a really sneaky password, but I don't really care. And you can say what kind of people you that are going to be solving inside the room. So if you're like sub 30 or something, like averaging 30 seconds, people are probably not going to come in if you put sub 15. Yeah. Or you know what I mean. <laughs> Anyway, I'm making the room now. So here's the room. Uh, shows up like this. Java usually freaks out. So hit new scramble. Here's the scramble. All the solvers who are in this room uh, will get the scramble. More of them can like line up over here. And then you can all do the same scramble and solve it. And once you're done solving, you can put something about the solve like, ooh, I love it because 1.07 is fast. And then you can be like, um, I don't know, fast F2 level. And then other people can use the chat box. I mean, you chat. Um, so the problem with this timer, though, is that the scrambles are not good. They're all random moves scrambles. So especially for puzzles, 3x3 three three and smaller, square one, pyraminx, skew, 2x2, two two, you get really, really, really easy scrambles. Like, you get so many sub ones on 2x2, two two, it's not even funny. So that's the problem with this. You really can't count PBs. It also has quite a few glitches. But that's twistthewebcom It's fun to hang out with friends on, not good as a main timer. So I'm actually going to skip over this for a minute and go down to Prisma Puzzle Timer. So Prisma Puzzle Timer is actually a downloadable timer. It's not on the internet. And it has a lot of really nice features, actually. And um, so let's just look at some of those. We'll go to the category first. So this is all the WCA events. It keeps a separate session for each one, which is kind of nice. And you can, again, track your statistics over a long period of time with graphs. has some training scrambles down here. Um, what's nice about the scrambles is that it does have the, the picture over here of what the cube should look like when you're done scrambling. And you can also make it look like 
this so like I can click anywhere in the scramble and the picture will change to what it should look like, which is especially helpful on big cubes. Another a uh, great part of this timer is that it supports stack mat, so I can plug my stack mat timer into the computer and theoretically you can get it to just show the times that are on your stack mat, but that's, it's honestly kind of hard to make it work. Sometimes you can get it to work, sometimes it just doesn't want to. Some people will be like, what are you talking about? There's no problem. And other people will be like, I've tried everything and it doesn't work. So maybe you'll luck out and be able to use your stack mat, maybe you won't. I just use spacebar usually if I'm going to use this. I used to use this on a different computer, so I, I don't have uh, any real big sessions to show you, but statistics show up down here. This is where your times are. Um, so yeah, a uh, great timer actually. Um, I really like this timer. It's really clean. It's well set up. It's easy to use. Uh, I just like some newer timers that have, not newer, but I like some timers with a few more features than this one does, has. So yeah, that's Prisma. Uh, here. QQ timer. Um, if you don't know about this, I don't know where you've been for the past like five years. Um, this is probably the most popular cubing timer, but I don't, I don't have any like statistics to back that up. I'm just guessing. <clears throat> it's really simple to use. Um, you get the scrambles over here. You can change what type you want. It has all the WCA scrambles, plus a lot of other stuff. Lots of non-WCA puzzles right here. Some other stuff like 3x3 subsets. Some uh, various sub steps that you can practice. Uh, if I go down to the options, there's also quite a bit here. Uh, we can do blind mode, which is nice for if you're a blind solver, I'm not, but you can time both your memorization and your execution times. Uh, you can enter in the times manually. It doesn't support plugging in your stack map, but you can do it this way. So shows up over there. Um, you can use inspection time, of course. You can change what kind of averages you want to show up over here in the statistics. And you can change means as well. And over here, you can change what your timer look, looks like. So that's that. Let's uh, change it back to timer, actually. So I'll just uh, do some more times for you so you can see what it looks like. So this is the statistics will start building up over there. So uh, average of five, you can click on this, and it'll give you the scrambles. One really annoying thing about QQ timer, though, is that if you are uh, entering in the times manually, typing them in, then the scrambles will not end up being correct. They will be mismatched to the solves that you entered. And that's really annoying for me because I use stack mat for a lot of different events. And that's one of the main reasons that I don't use this timer anymore. The other reason is that this cube scrambles are uh, just random moves. So I have to set it to like 15 and I'm way too lazy to do 15 moves to scramble this cube. All right, so next up here we have CS timer. Uh, this is the current timer that I use. Uh, this is my main timer. It uh, has a lot of features, like a lot, a lot, so I'm not going to be able to show them to, all of them to you. Uh, that would take forever, but I'm going to try to hit some of the main points. First of all, it has tons of scrambles. Uh, the first glance, uh, the list pretty much just looks the same as QQ Timer, but it also has these WCA scrambles right here, which are, I guess they're fairly similar to what the WCA does. I'm not sure what exactly the relationship is, but it does mean that it has random state skew, um, which is really nice for those of us who are skew solvers. Um, of course, all the other scrambles that need to be random state are also random state. Over here, we're going to look at some of the tools. You can do statistics. You can do time distribution. You can draw the scramble uh, just like with Prisma Puzzle Timer, but it doesn't show up like the 3D graphic. Um, so it's not quite as good as, the, as Prisma is, but uh, still pretty nice. And also doesn't do other puzzles, so only only like uh, up through 7x7. Seven seven. Let's look at some of the options now. So... Um, I could go into a lot here, but here you can change what the timer looks like in general, the colors, the font it uses. Um, you can change the inspection time, or um, I guess I'll go over how you can enter the times you got the timer, which is just spacebar, of course. Um, you can do typing, which is manual entering, and then you can do stack mat. So you can do both typing and stack mat. I think this is the only timer that offers that. Um, and then if, this one is kind of weird, but you can do virtual queue, and you got like the controls on the keyboard, but yeah, that's. Ooh. I don't know. <laughs> uh, and then there's a couple other options, none of which are nearly as interesting. Another thing that I really, really like about this timer is that it has lots of keyboard shortcuts. So this is the list of keyboard shortcuts. So I can change what scramble type. Um, I can change uh, the times in my session. I can delete them, uh, or I can delete the entire session. I can change sessions, change scrambles. And right here is also really nice. I can do plus twos and DNFs with keyboard shortcuts. So like, uh, let's go to a session with some solves. Yeah, 
Um, this last solve, I want a plus to it, I just hit control two, and it's plus two. Or if I'm tired of this session, I can just hit control D. Oops, not what I meant to do. Alt D, and then it hits, yeah. So, that's nice. Um, I think that's about it as far as the features of CS timer goes, uh, at least that I'm gonna get into. You can actually do a lot of stuff with it. <clears throat> but that's the main point. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I uh, hope it helped explain which timer is probably best for you. I personally like this one the best, has the most options, very few glitches, supports random states, cubes, scrambles. Um, so that's why I use this one. Uh, you can make your own choice though. So uh, that's it for this video, um, and I'll see you next time.